Detective. Peterson, did I or did I not tell you to get a hold of Dallas Griffin if you needed help? Oh. Then why are you here? Uh, there's a perp out here. Says he's your brother. <laughs> hey, bro, what's up? <laughs> What'd you do, Brad? You know, why do you always have to come at me like that? Like it's always something I did. Maybe somebody else did something. You're the one in handcuffs, bro. You know, just for that, I'm using my right to remain silent. Peterson. Yes, sir. What'd he do? He assaulted a man. That's what he did. Are we rolling, Barbara? Why did you do that? What are you doing here? You've told me many, many times that you're the one who brings in all the ratings, so bring it. Don't be shy, Brad. Don't you have a few words for our viewers? Yeah. Yeah, I got something to say. Roll it, Barbara. Are you sure about this? Oh, yeah. This is the best job I've ever had. I might as well go out in a blaze of glory. So, uh, hey, Oakdale's Brad Snyder here. And Katie Peretti. Yeah, of course. Well, here's what's happening in Oakdale now. I have been arrested and brought to the very efficient Oakdale Police Station for booking. Now, if you stick around, you can watch firsthand how Jack Snyder, my brother, and the rest of the gals and guys dressed in blue take a bite out of crime daily. Well, Brad, how does it feel to be a criminal? Oh, Katie, it feels great. Just great. Okay, I think that's enough for that. Oh, Brad, look, it's your innocent victim. I guess it wouldn't be responsible journalism if I didn't go interview the teacher, too. Come on. No, 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 no. No, the camera stays with me. Okay, the money shot is me getting processed, right? The fingerprinting, the mug shot, you know, my face getting slammed. Is this, is this door, necessary? You know, oh, no, you know, you know what, it's stuff. not. I, I, we'll go interview Mr. Ledoux. No, no, no. Katie, the camera stays with me. Okay. If that's the way you want it, fine. Um, stay here. I'll go talk to Mr. Ledoux, but make sure you get every gritty detail. You sure you want all this on camera? Hey, man, he keeps that guy off camera? Uh, hell yeah. Okay, listen. You, I know you're not one to back down from a fight, but you usually, you usually take on guys your own size. This guy, you could mop the floor with him. Uh, I just did. Why? What did he do to you? He did nothing, not to me. You, you should have seen the ruckus he caused on the, on the class outing at Raven Lake. Really? Raven, Raven Lake? Really? It was a disaster. Flaunting himself like, uh, like he was in San Francisco or something. By the end of that trip, every student there knew he was... Well, who knows what word we're supposed to use for it now. Yeah, and you just couldn't trust that he wouldn't do something like that again. That's right. So no matter how well he wrote, you just couldn't let him represent school. If this isn't about you, then who's it about? Let's just forget about him, okay? Just forget about him. Are you drunk? Do I look drunk? Okay, then, then why, Brad? Man, the guy just rubbed me the wrong way, okay? I went too far, like always. Now, if you don't mind, Barbara's gonna get a dislocated shoulder from the camera she's got on her. I'm sure they should be more than grateful if we could just speed this up. So, officer, could you please book me? Hey, and remember, all right? Like Katie said, every juicy, gritty detail. Come on. I thought I made it clear, Ms. Peretti, Katie Peretti, I'm the co-host of Oakdale Now. Yes, well, I'm not interested in making a statement to you or anyone else of your ilk. I totally understand after everything you've been through. Will you please accept my apology? You want to apologize to me? I just had your co-worker arrested. He totally had it coming to him. He attacked you for no good reason. Yes, he did. I'm actually surprised you were able to restrain yourself from popping him one. I mean, you could have taken him out, you know? I did consider it. But uh, in a civilized society, violence should always be avoided when possible. I completely agree. But I thank you for filing charges, because the longer Brad is in jail, the longer he's off my show and out of my hair. I'm glad I could be of service. Actually, here, wait, let me give you my card. If you want to tell your story on air, I would love to interview you. I, I really couldn't. Oh, come on, you must be furious. I am. <laughs> that maniac invited me to your station under the guise of wanting to do a story on me, but he really just had an axe to grind about that gay kid being passed over for the Merit Award. Gay kid? I, I, I really have to be going. No, listen, you know what? I'm sorry. Brad is just a bully. Trying to tell you how to do your job, he does the same thing to me every day, and believe me. He knew nothing of the circumstances. I wasn't the only one who made the decision not to give Snyder the award. Luke Snyder? You know him? 
Oh, barely. <laughs> Look, Ms. Peretti, um, this conversation needs to be off the record. I, I, I see no reason for any of it to be made public. Absolutely, I completely understand. Thanks for seeing my side in this. Well, I forget that sometimes. But there's always another side. Where's Brad? He's been taken down to Holden. Where's Barbara? Did she get it all on tape? No. And before you so say anything, I want you to know I was the one to send her away. Look, I know you think the Brad's arrest is, is must-see TV, but like it or not, he's still my brother, Katie. And whatever he did to get in this mess... He didn't tell you why he went after Ledoux? No details. Typical. So typical of your brother. Just when you think you can count on him to be a total jerk, he turns it all around and makes you feel like, oh, I'm going to strangle him. Why? Would this uh, Ledoux guy say it's Brad more trouble than I thought? I have to do something. I don't want to do it, but I have to. And I need your help. What is it? I need to pay Brad's bail. Somebody paid my bail. Yep. Okay, I know you don't have that type of cash, even if you did want to cut your brother a break. Nope. So who sprung me? Vienna. <laughs> I didn't know that you and Vienna were still close. Well, I knew it was only a matter of time before she dumped that Henry guy. So where is she? You know, I am going to give that beautiful girl a thank you. That she was beautiful, yeah, she is beautiful, but it wasn't Vienna. It was Katie. You're already out? I know you paid my bail. What I don't know is why. I found out about what you did defending Luke. I was surprised. Well, you wouldn't have been if you would have just given me a couple seconds to explain what happened instead of watching them haul me off in handcuffs. You wouldn't have been arrested if you didn't attack the guy? Well, he deserved a lot worse. I mean, how can you call yourself a teacher when the only main thing you're teaching is that you should penalize kids for being different. You know, make sure they know that they don't deserve to represent their school. I mean, Luke, he's a, you know, he's a smart kid. He's a good kid. But do even admit it that he wrote the best essay. You shut him out just because he was gay. I know, it's sick. No, 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 no don't agree with me. It just totally messes with my flow. You know, I mean, okay, you know. I'll, I'll remember that. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have gotten physical with him. But I wouldn't be who I am if I didn't fight back. Right, you can't just change who you are, right? I tried. It doesn't stick. Yeah. I know the feeling. I keep making the same mistakes. When I try to do something well, I just... mess it up. What are you doing? I guess I'm trying to offer some empathy. Sure you want to do that? It's kind of hard to hate you. Yeah, I know what you mean. After today, I'm having a hard time hating you, too. Thank you very much. Oh, Jack. I just heard Brad has been arrested. Yeah, he was. Well, did they set bail? No, bail's already been paid, Ken. <sighs> okay, listen, I can reimburse you. We have a legal fund at the studio. No, no, I, I didn't pay bail, Kim. Katie did. Katie? She hates Brad. Unless she took my advice and she made peace for the sake of the show. No, that has to be it. Because we certainly know there's no love lost between those two. You're not going to tell anybody about what I did, you know, about, about defending Lou, are you? Why, are you worried I'm going to ruin your reputation as an insensitive jerk? Yeah, damn straight. I won't say a word. Thank you. Don't worry, even though I went after Ludu for good reasons, you know, I guarantee you I'll do something to tick you off for no good reason tomorrow. I have no doubt. <laughs>